Top red's in the bin, top red's in the bin. Hey, there the are, yo, top red's in the bin, I win. Sancho staying. Ha! I love it when a plan comes together. The big breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Edison Cavani's on the verge of signing for Manchester United. And no, it's not an eight, a late April Fool's joke. He's going to sign a two-year contract tomorrow and he's going to arrive in Manchester to obviously sign it, a contract until June 2022. This is music to my ears. This will boil so much piss in the, in the top red Man United community from the usual suspects. But I'm not going to complain about it because I'm not a top red and I actually know what I'm talking about. Because I actually stand by my convictions and like... Uh, everybody else, be it YouTube or Twitter. He's a proven goal scorer. He might not start every single week, but off the bench, if we're 1-0 down, or it's 1-1 one, one going in the dying embers of the game, he comes on in the right position, shoots and rifles it, and riffles the back of the net. So, this is a win-win. We cannot lose from this signing. You know, and all those people go, oh, look how much he's earning. You know, he's on the King's Ransom. Yeah. Well, it's not your money, is it? And the, and the Sancho fanboys would have said exactly the same if we signed Sancho. It's not your money. So I'll say it about the ones who don't want Cavani. It's not your money, is it? It's not coming out of your back of the pocket. That's what I keep hearing. So don't be a hypocrite and compete for the same thing. Because it means exactly the same thing. You know? So I'm happy we're not getting Sancho. Um, let him stay at Dortmund. Because, you know, it's a big risk to sign him. Because he's not worth 108 million. I don't care what anybody says. Um, he isn't. And Cavani, people thought that Ibrahimovic couldn't hack it in the Premier League. And look what he did. You know, he was a sight to behold. You know, he didn't buckle under the pressure. He didn't flatter to deceive. He actually contributed, even though he just think the Euros out. Got 27 goals, won two trophies. And that's never to be sniffed at or scoffed at. Which is, truth be told... Um, a fair bit in his cap. So the moral of the story is, and the truth of the matter is, nobody should moan about this signing. You know, it's a great option to have off the bench uh, when needed, because we're having to need it with all the games spaced out in the next couple of weeks. And we can also, I don't know if he's retired from international duty, um, but if he, if he hasn't, even if it's not true, that doesn't prevent it from being a fact. So I'm all for the signing. All in all, great signing. We need him. Does it really matter how old he is? Not really. You know, when Zaggy was still scoring goals around 36, 37. You know, and he was a national goal scorer as well. So I'm very happy about it. You should be very happy about it. But there'll be people brainwashing you. But I would say here and now, actions speak louder than words. Honesty is the best policy. And honestly, it's a great signing. And if anybody moans about it, there's nothing you can do about it. Because Sancho's not signing. And nor is Cavani. So read it and weep. Because that is the crux of the matter. And that is where I'll end this video. Cavani, welcome to Manchester United. Welcome aboard, sir.